Hey folks, and in this video, I'm going to quickly go over the project management functionality of Apex, right from onboarding a new client up to deployment and maintenance. This will involve setting up the development staging and production systems, then we're going to sync all three through the repository and built-in CI pipeline. So when a developer does a commit on their local machine, it'll automatically sync to staging, and then after a successful run of the tests and checks through the pipeline, it will also automatically sync to production providing you with a nice, beautiful, easy to set up pipeline for the management and development of your client operations. My name is Matt. I do loads of short and to the point videos such as this regarding all things PHP in general and Apex in particular. If that by chance interests you, please make sure to like and subscribe to stay updated to this channel. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. So you've onboarded a new client, specs are hammered out, contracts are signed, and you are ready to jump in the trenches and begin development. First up, on your local machine, you'll run a quick Composer Create Project command to set up your development system. And I'm assuming for this video, I do not need to explain what Composer is. Now the first time you run this Apex script, it'll put you into the installation wizard, and we're also going to specify an image flag to include an installation image. And the installation wizard simply asks you for your Redis and SQL connection information. So Apex itself is now fully installed and it's currently just going through and processing that installation image. If you just do a base install, you'll begin with nothing more than a blank directory structure, whereas an installation image is exactly what you'd expect it to be. It'll pull the image off the network, install the various packages that are defined within that image, and just set up all necessary configuration providing you with a nice base development environment to begin with. There's various images available on the public website and it's also very easy to create and manage your own installation images as well. Now that Apex is fully installed, I'll quickly show you the administration panel. Now generally this would first show a create administrator form, but since we've included that installation image, that's already taken care of for us. The admin panel itself is well outside of the scope of this video, so I won't get into it except to say that please note every system you install will have different navigation menus and functionality all depending on the packages that you install. If you just install the base system plus the web app package, which is what includes the admin panel, you'll see nothing more than a settings general menu. All other menus and functionality come from the various packages that you install. With that said, and with the development system now set up, let's move on to the second step of this video. Now let's go ahead and create a new project with staging environment for our client. But just before I do that though, I already know that once I deploy this to production, I'm going to want to sync all commits from the local machine to the production system. So for that to happen, I'm going to quickly ins run Apex install SVN sync to install that sync package. Now that's out of the way, let's go ahead and create our new project. We'll go apex project create command and we'll call this demo client. It'll ask us whether or not I want a staging environment and I'll say yes I do. Now this process itself is does take a few minutes. What happens is it's going to create a new repository, upload the entire contents of the project from my local machine to that repository, create a staging system, clone the repository over to that, transfer the SQL database from my local machine up to the staging server and set up everything for us. So this process does take a few minutes, but thankfully video editors are a thing, so it'll be done in a quick second. Now that our project has been fully created, we have the URL to our staging system plus the connection information for our remote SQL database, which we don't really even need because anytime we'd like, we can simply run Apex Project SQL without any arguments and we'll be connected directly into the database on the remote staging system. In the same vein, we can simply run Apex SQL without any arguments and we'll be connected directly to the database on our local development machine. You can also run individual SQL statements against the remote server, such as this. And with that out of the way, I will show you the staging system itself. Now the URL to every staging system is always the same. It'll be projectname.username.apexpl.dev. And as you can see, this is an exact clone of the development system installed on our local machine. 
Now anytime myself or any developer with access to this project does a commit from our local machines, it will automatically sync to this staging system, which I'll give you a quick example of now. So back in terminal on my local machine, I'll create a quick view. This is a dem demo page. View such HTML, it's just demo.html. So now on our local machine, we'll go to that demo page. And sure enough, there's our demo page. And on our staging system, we will go to the same demo. And sure enough, we have a page not found there. However, if I go back to terminal on my local machine and I do a quick commit, apex commit, the demo page. Now, please note Apex, or more specifically SVN, works slightly differently than Git, and you work much closer to the repository. So there is no commit than push. Instead, right when you do a commit, it'll upload all changes directly to the repository. And with that commit done, I can go back to my staging system. I'll reload that demo page. And sure enough, our demo page is now there. And with that said, Let's move on to the third and final step, which is the production system. Now actual development is well outside of the scope of this video, but let's just say we've completed the vast majority of development for this project and are ready to deploy to production. Now not only do we want all commits to sync to the staging system, but we also want them to sync to production after a successful run of the CI pipeline. So let's go ahead and get that set up. First we log into our server. And we run a quick composer create project command again. Now I am cheating a little bit here as I do already have Nginx, MySQL, and SQL, but SSH keys set up for this. Now if you remember back when we set up the development system on our local machine, we added an image flag. But here we're going to add a project flag and we're going to specify that demo client project we previously created. And once again, this simply asks us for our Redis and our SQL connection information. And Apex is now installed and it is currently going through and installing that demo client project from the repository over to our local server. And that's now fully installed, so I can quickly show you the production system. And once again, as you can see, it's an exact clone of the development machine, the development system installed on our local machine. And, and I can also go to that demo page that we previously created. And sure enough, it's there as well. Now, once again, we want all syncs from the lo from the developer's local machine, all commits made to the developer's local machines to automatically sync to production as well. And for that to happen, let's go back to our server. We'll run this apex project sync command, and it's going to give us the URL to a new webhook. Now, on our local machine, we're going to open we're going to open up the package configuration we're going to open up the package configuration file for our demo client project. And as you can see, there is this pipeline section where you can define the various levels and severity for your CI pipeline. It has built-in support for PHP unit, PHP stand, and PHP CS. Then naturally only successful runs will actually sync to production. And then we simply add in a webhook section. We'll copy and paste that URL we were previously given. We'll log out of our server. And on our local machine, we'll simply run the apex pack package update command on our demo client package. All this does is simply uploads that package configuration file to the network and it will update the network with that webhook we just added. Now to give an example of how syncing to both staging and production works, let's go ahead and create a new view. Second demo page. And one more time. And we'll call this one demo2.html. Now if I go to my local, de the, the, the development system on my local machine, 
I can go to that new demo two page and sure enough it's here. Uh, on our staging system we get a page not found there and of course on our production system we are also going to get a page not found there. But now if we go back to our local development machine we do a quick commit this is going to upload the changes to the repository plus sync it to both staging and production. So on our production system we can just simply reload the page. And our second demo page just is now here on the production system. And it's also on the staging system as well. So during this video, and that's basically Apex Project Management in a nutshell. During this video, we've quickly set up all three, the development, staging, and production systems. And we've synced all three through the repository and the built-in CI pipeline. I do small, short, and to-the-point videos such as this regarding all things PHP and specifically Apex all the time. So if that by chance interests you, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for your time and I will see you in the next video.